Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. We are uh, talking about the big announcement today. Indianapolis. Uh, not really on a lot of people's radars, but they, they are in a class amongst themselves. They are the first city uh, to sign, uh, I'm not sure... Uh, to call it a three-year deal because it doesn't really really say that it's going to happen in three years but they've got a commitment from WWE that not only they're going to host this upcoming Royal Rumble in 2025 but they will be hosting at Lucas Oil Stadium a Royal Rumble a SummerSlam and a Wrestlemania three uh, not even three of the biggest, the big three pay-per-views of WWE are going to be coming down in Indianapolis. I, I don't really think of Indianapolis being a huge sports town. Uh, I don't think they're a major market, uh, but I think that they really can support this because of where they are uh, physically lo located in the United States. Um, you know, they're, they're a drive from major cities of like Chicago, Detroit, um, Cleveland, um, you know, Cincinnati, um, that commute is, is not going to be that long, uh, for people to head on into Indianapolis for these big three events. Uh, I feel like the Royal Rumble, which is a, a one night pay-per-view, basically you can fly in, you can see a big night of wrestling and you can get out of there. I did it in Phoenix, uh, roughly 10 to 11 years ago when The Rock um, beat CM Punk for the WWE Championship. John Cena won the Royal Rumble that year. Um, it's a short flight from here from Sacramento, and I and I just said I have to be there. I flew there that morning. I flew back um, in, in the morning, and I still made uh, my shift at work uh, on on Monday. Um, I know that they they tend to make these like these events for you know they're going to host an NXT event. They're going to host um, a Monday Night Raw there, uh, not wanting to leave town. Uh, but if, if you just want to go for one night, I, I think it's going to be huge. Um, the, that Indianapolis would be there. You know, these are teams that uh, they host the Colts. Uh, they have the Pacers. Uh, Indianapolis, I, I think that's all the, ma the major sports teams they have there. Um, Lucas Oil Stadium is a place that they have a, a large following for the Colts, the Colts there. Pacers always seem to be rocking there, uh, even when they have bad teams. Um, the the field house, I'm guessing, is what they're going to use. Uh, actually, I don't even know if they still have the field house anymore. Um, but the when Sacramento was going through their major deals of trying to build a new stadium, when they were trying to move out of Arco Arena, they were trying to build a carbon copy of what the field house is uh, in Indianapolis, uh, where the Pacers play. They thought that, that was a place that wasn't gonna be too big, that wasn't gonna cost that much money, that they could fill up uh, and support basketball, concert, wrestling, uh, you know, the circus, whatever wants to come to town. It, it would have been a perfect arena. Uh, since then, we were able to get Golden One, which is a lot different. Um, they, they wanted the big, dramatic, huge kind of stadium and I don't know. It works. It's fun. Um, but uh, uh, I had made a side deal <laughs> with Ravi. That Ravi put out a tweet and said he wanted to go to the Royal Rumble this upcoming year. That was before um, the WrestleMania plans came out. So I don't know if WrestleMania is going to squash um, the Royal Rumble plans, but I know Ravi's never been to a Rumble. He's never pointed at the WrestleMania sign that early. Of course, that's when it makes his debut each and every year. So I, I don't know if that's going to be uh, coming to Indy, but I but I did put that out there that I said I would go with him. So we'll have to see what goes on with that. But um, SummerSlam in Indy, um, as, as well as a WrestleMania. I mean, Indianapolis, WrestleMania 8. Um, they, they didn't have... The best attendance that year gorilla monsoon he blamed it on a uh, car accident on the freeway and that was slowing people down cu coming in at the beginning of the show um it was hulk hogan's supposed last match at the time of course he came back the next year um for wrestlemania in vegas uh he wrestled in the tag match and then he stole bret hart's championship uh from yokozuna at the end um and 
Macho Man versus Ric Flair, possibly in, I think in a, a top 10 WrestleMania match of all time. Um, so they, you know, they have a history, you know, uh, I don't think of it as being the biggest wrestling town, um, but definitely they put the money on the table knowing how much wrestling fans bring to a city and Indianapolis wanted to take it in. So congrats to them. If you live in Indy, uh, I mean, you got to be riding high as a WB fan. Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, WrestleMania, doesn't matter what, um, uh, order you're gonna get it, but I mean if you if you're a WB fan, you're at least hanging in for a three-year ride of, of you know getting a big show each and every time. So peace out everybody